to Express Bytes, a series of short video workshops designed to help youth transition into the world of work. Hi, I'm Ian from Youth Express. Here at Youth Express, we've been supporting young people transition into the world of work and community and re-engage in education since 1993. In this series of video workshops, we're looking at the job interview and job hunting. Today in our workshop, we are looking at a social media self-audit. That's right, social media self-audit. What is a self-audit? Well, a self-audit is actually checking up on yourself. It's really important that you do this. We've been using social media now for quite some time. You've probably been using social media for five years, possibly 10 years. A lot of things happen in that time. When you're applying for a job, it's quite common for your new employer to search social media websites to check out you and see what sort of person you are. It's really important that we understand that they do this, and they do this for a reason. If you are, for example, in a social media film and you are conducting yourself inappropriately in a motor vehicle, and your new employer sees that, and they need you to drive the motor vehicle as part of your work with them, they might go, hey, this guy, this lady, they're not the right person for us because I'm on social media and there's five videos of them doing burnouts up and down the street. You're gonna lose that job straight away because there'll be plenty of people that won't have that. So it's really important that you do a self audit. You've gotta check yourself, check what's out there, check your tag, Google your own name. See what is there about you. You might go, oh, I don't use Facebook anymore. I haven't used it for three years. So what? Those posts still exist. That's the thing about the web, cyberspace. Once it's out there, it stays out there. It's there somewhere. It's on a server somewhere. But just because you don't engage in Facebook anymore or you don't use Instagram anymore or those tweets you put on Twitter, oh, they're old, it doesn't matter. Yes, it does matter, they're still there. So go back and check and see what's there. Make sure there's nothing illegal. Don't be consuming alcohol when you're 16 and appearing drunk in photos or videos. Don't be doing stupid things in cars, okay? Get rid of all that and make sure that that's all good. But the other side of this is, social media isn't all bad. Because social media is about the news. We have good news. Let's say you're a volunteer with New South Wales Rural Fire Service and you've got some social media stuff of you supporting the community in this activity. That's fantastic stuff for you, okay? Keep that there. What about if you're applying for a job as a mechanic and you've got photos of you working with your motorbike on the weekend? That's fantastic stuff, leave that there. Maybe you're an amateur photographer and you've got plenty of your own work online. That's fantastic stuff also. When people look to see what sort of person you are on social media, that's exactly what they're doing. They want to know what sort of person you are. If they see some fantastic things like um, contributing to the community, rural fire service, those sorts of things, they'll like that very much. If you're an, that amateur photographer and they can see you've got some really good work there and you're showing lots of potential, that's really good too. So there's plenty of good things that happen with social media. That's why we like it so much. You're just gotta make sure that you do that self audit, check on yourself, and get rid of all the negative things that are going to be a, a negative contribution to you trying to get some um, employment, trying to get through an interview, and then you're explaining why you've got this photo of you in, in a car doing something stupid like that. So don't do this. I've heard lots of stories from recruiting officers where people have missed out on jobs because of their community behavior. It does happen they do check. So make sure you get on top of this, get all the positive stuff out there, get rid of the negative stuff. And that's it. Social media, self-audit, your current social media, your old social media. Make sure you check everything. All right, so thank you very much. I hope this helps. It should help. In the comments below, please tell us what school are you from? If you're a parent or you're no longer at school, in the comments, tell us what suburb you're tuning in from. And as always, like our Facebook page, please give us a thumbs up, do your social media self-audit, and thanks for watching.